He was 25 years old. He combed his hair like James Dean. He was very fastidious. People who littered bothered him. She was 15. She took music lessons and could twirl a baton. I'm kid. I'm not keeping you from anything important, am I? No. She wasn't very popular at school. For a while, they lived together in a treehouse. In 1959, they murdered a lot of people. Of course, I had to keep all this a secret from my dad. He would have had a fit since Kit was 10 years older than me and came from the wrong side of the track, so-called. I don't want you to hang around anymore. I don't want to see you again. You understand? Then, sure enough, Dad found out I'd been running around behind his back. He was madder than I'd ever seen him. He made me take extra music lessons every day after school and wait there till he came to pick me up. He said that if the piano didn't keep me off the streets, maybe the clarinet would. My girl Holly and I decided to kill ourselves. Same way I did her dad. Nobody's coming out of this thing happy, especially not us. I can't deny we've had fun, though. We hid out in the wilderness, down by a river in a grove of cottonwoods. It being the flood season, we built our house in the trees. We planned a huge network of tunnels under the forest floor, and our first order of business every morning was to decide on a new password. He gave me lectures on how a gun works, how to take it apart and put it back together again in case I had to carry on without him. He said that if the devil came at me, I could shoot him with a gun. Hey. Listen to your parents and teachers. They got a line on most things, so don't treat them like enemies. There's always an outside chance you can learn something. Try to keep an open mind. Try to understand the viewpoints of others. Think I got them? I don't know. Well, I'm not going down there and look. Consider the minority opinion. But try to